Hello everybody, welcome to the quarterfinal of the NAF kickoff um, tournament. 64 man, the top two get into the planes for the $5,000 tournament for uh, the Cyanide or Nikon or whatever are running. Um, I'm up against Andre, who is a very good Blood Bowl coach with a very good team. I think his human team is favoured versus my dwarf team. We've both got three guard and mighty blown a block. Um, in the booth is Hargrim, who, uh, who who you may know from Exclamation Point Rebel. <laughs> 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 Amazing, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna co- so I can concentrate on the game. So thank you very much, Hargrim, for stepping up at, at zero notice to to carry this broadcast. Thank you so much. And, yeah, no worries. Uh, cheers. No worries, mate. Uh, Foxomania, it's R E B B L. Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> like dwarves on defense. Seems like the correct choice. For the humans, at least. To receive first. Means that he can basically, if, if everything goes according to plan, he can guarantee at least a draw. And then take it into overtime, hope for the coin toss. Uh... Plus, he maximizes his own potential for the uh, for the break in the second half. Yeah, it is a very, very deep human bench. But this is what happens when humans get to play in, in a NAF format where the rule set isn't exactly, like, 100%. I think it's, what, it's five skills for Tier 1, six skills for Tier 2. I think they're just using the GW tiers, to be honest, which would... Makes sense, but also not make sense at the same time. Oh look, a very, very useful cheering fans result. Yeah, that's going to make a huge difference this game. Dwarves live. I think that the option here for Andre is that he's going to throw all of his block dice before moving the ball, then move it once it's, you know, somewhat relevant to do so, because the ball is in a fairly safe position as of right now anyways, like there's no way the dwarves are going to get to it, so he can just turtle. Yeah, Jim did go for the advanced chevrons, which I'm not exactly sure why, but I can kind of see the merit in it. The only downside is that it does allow quick snap extra hits. But, you know, the advanced chevrons is fine. It means the humans can't press a sideline too quickly and force the dwarves out of pos- position. Excuse me. Takes a mighty blow hit, as expected. Should just hold position here. Just wait for the humans to make a move before he consolidates his position. The humans are still in the stabilizing phase of their drive. 
it looks like from from one perspective it looks sort of stable for the humans but it's not completely stable as of yet because they haven't centralized most of their pieces the ball is in a backwards position or a hanging back position i suppose you could say um and just waiting to do something Andre can't probe until a removal against dwarves. What he has to do is he has to shift sides somewhat most uh, for, for a few turns until at one point the dwarves are going to be out of position. Like you can see that on the left hand side the uh, the dwarves are <clears throat> excuse me the dwarves are very heavy on the left hand side for Jim and less heavy on the right hand side so he should shift back and forth which is exactly what he's doing because it pulls the dwarves out of position. And now there really isn't a good blitz for Jim. Without committing too heavily. Hello, Fymir. Hello there. Now I can hear you. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I <laughs> fell asleep and we just woke up. <laughs> That's alright. I'm sure Jim thinks it's okay too. Right, yeah, just uh, just fogging around. Um, basically, the human's game plan is shift side to side until the dwarves are pulled out of position. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I have missed anything here besides uh, that? No, you it's... haven't missed anything. It's right, just right. dwarves being dwarves and humans being humans. Nothing exciting happening. Jim choosing to commit here, which is... I wouldn't say like interesting in a negative way, but it is an interesting decision. It does create a lot of problems for the for the humans to deal with though. Yeah, it's a It's going to force the humans to roll a lot of dice, but they have a lot of uh, block pieces around, so and a lot of guard in the in good squares as well. Yeah. It wouldn't be surprised to see Andre just shift sides here completely without rolling any dodges. Does get a pretty good knockdown. Jimmy is uh, here in the spirit because he has put my uh, my face there. Whoa. Sorry about that, Jimmy. Next to the beaver. <laughs> Next to the beaver, there you go. Hagrid, which I met in person in the UKTC. Yes, we did meet. Oh, that was a glorious event. Nick Con and Jim Con at the same time. Whoa. Yes, and uh, Hagrid is the one that I can confirm that I am undefeated. And the UKTC uh, Blue Ball Tournament. The best player at the UKTC 2023. Oh. That's pretty nice. 
That's pretty nice for Jim. Oh, that's that's the uh, massive. That's the, the the wet dream of Jim there. The best result that he could get. The question is, what does he do now that the ogre's on the floor? Like he can take a few punches on the left side, on the, Jim's left side, but it doesn't really do much for him. He needs to sort of reposition himself. Okay, the Irish the uh, Iron Pig. The the pink dice on the marketplace. Well, uh, you like them, get them, but you'd have to spend precious warp stone on it. Yes. Unless you have the pass, then you think you get them. But they don't make things uh, more uh, easy to see. Yes, Dementor, I'm the beaver. Well, Dementor... What was the other option? Hello, Satterfield. Hey, Satter. So it has been a very busy week. Uh... Oh. Maybe break. Oh, KO nice on the Mighty deal. Blow. That's a pretty strong removal for Jim. The... yeah. Very busy week for Saturday. He has to take care of uh, Kissinger. Took, uh, you took your time there, eh? <laughs> the mentor, behave yourself. <laughs> there are people there, there are people that want to watch this and read that <laughs> and the yoga boneheads as well Fwar. Fwar, oh, that must be... well eh. causes some problems for Andre yes Things are going uh, very nicely for uh, Jimor. Rick with the raid. Thanks, Rick Nation. Uh, how was your stream, Rick? How was the Fumble Fantasy Football? Oh, there you go. Yeah, it looks like Andre's just gonna take the side now immediately. Freezes out the yoga for himself, but it's sort of irrelevant at this point. The score is guaranteed. It's just a matter of when. And for those that they, uh, yeah, and for those that you don't know him, <laughs> I'm joking. Rick, another uh, Blood Bowl uh, streamer part time, and also poker streamer full time. So welcome in, PC. We can't hear you if you're saying anything. Oh, yeah, there is PC, yes. I it takes his time in. to set up everything. I mainly just popped in because I resent having to wait for the delay on the stream. <laughs> that makes sense. But you two are doing a fine job, you don't need me. If... Uh, Jimmy uh, managed to force Andrew to score and get you know enough turns to counter a score that we. Ooh, ooh. It's a knockdown. Oh. It's an AV break as well. Do it. This is stallable, it just requires a lot of dice from Andre. I'm not sure it's worth it for Andre to stall it out here. Yeah, exactly, Demensa. Like, it's a bunch of three pluses, and even then, it's not yeah. really enough. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, I think we are uh, getting uh, a mix of the chat here because I think uh, people are still talking like they were in a uh, Rick's chat. Because they are talking about the. Uh, Paul Pot and Kissinger. Yep. Yeah, you know Rick is always on the, the geopolitics and the history of peace and war in the West. Yeah. World War Two. That's his main theme. Part um, of the what, stream. What Jim's done the, here that I really, the most, really like. The most, uh, the most controversial uh, subjects are the main uh, <laughs> thing uh, in uh, Rick's head. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> Rick. Yeah. That's Rick. That's Rick. We, Absolute we constant religion, controversy. Early. So what I really like about Jim's shape here is that as well as pushing so that the humans have to go forwards and score really very hard for them to see stalling out front. The other option of course this early in the drive is to drop back and make a nice secure place somewhere in the middle. And Jim's really put all the dwarves between the ball and the ogre and that safe place in the middle. So they can push down the flank but they can't really drop back safely. So it's a really nice level of pressure here from Jim. Basically what Jim has done is he's frozen out the yoga and that other lineman, plus Andre's already down a blitzer. Yeah, and stop them swapping sides. I mean, they can go yeah. forwards, they can stabilize where they are, but they can't swap back into the middle. They basically have to score this turn. Well, maybe they can delay a little more, but... Uh... Yeah, if he gets a power on this runner, which he has, oh, there you go. he can probably stall another turn, but the pressure is still mounting, that's the point, isn't it? Yeah. Well, uh, Johnny Five, I think uh, Rambad has a negative influence in everybody's life. Another toxic streamer, uh, unbelievable. Oh, my kitten is uh, looking at the screen, very interested about the, the game. This is a really nice line that Andre found. Really well played turn. Yes, he got the, the results he needed, but also, yes, well played by a. Uh... Sorry, I'm just scrolling up to see if Dementor said something yeah. else I can directly quote. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Yes, it was a really nice line, and what I really liked about that was that all the way through the turn, if it went wrong, if the right powers didn't come, there were options to fall out of the plan and to just score or do other things. It was a really safe set of, you know, quite impressive moves that left a lovely shape at the end and had lots of bailout points all the way through. Pretty much ideal for a turn. Now, this uh, that power opens the back door of Andrew's back door. So... Now Jimmy has different options for the Blitz or Penetración in Spanish. That's a GFI there. Good. Is it? Was it? Oh, yes, it is. It's difficult to see it now because they just happen. You know, there are no rolls on the screen or any or anything. Going for the there GD you on the ball. Two D on the ball. Makes the three plus. Makes all the two pluses. Doesn't get the knockdown though. Just, oh. Just it does, however, mean he can get tackle on the ball. That was a very nice unpicking there by Jim of a really solid uh, drive that I thought was pretty much secure. So really nicely done, but not rewarded. It was a difficult nice. one because it was a blitzer, which only has a doesn't have tackle, but still uh, getting four dice on the ball is mm. great. You can do that on a regular basis, you will uh, end uh, winning games. 
Eventually you'll find pals. Yes, we have a request from chat if you could say penetration again, please, for me. I think Corwin almost got that. Lovely. Penetration. Beautiful. Penetration is the translation. So it's uh, one of the weird terms that if he was in charge of the Spanish translation of the game back in the 90s, I wouldn't have used. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's still a sore point. I hate to bring it up, but of course, that's what the Spanish Armada tried was to penetrate Britain. And Didn't so, Walter so well. Rally fully cock blocked you. All right, ABC. Oh. Forced. Uh, yeah. To block with the ball. Am, am I am I losing it? Did he just block with the ball? He did. Yes, yes, he has did. Yes, he did. Mm. With me. And what's fascinating about that, of course, is it means you know he thinks he can defend in place. And I'm not sure he can. I mean, with the runner knockdown, it kind of looks okay. <clears throat> I mean, it is still just a 3 plus 2 plus for another 2D on the ball, which can turn into another 2D on the ball. Yeah, yes. I mean, that's, that seems a, important. There is a possible chain. Yeah. The 3-2 leads to a chain where you can push it onto a mighty yeah. blow with tackle. That's the problem. Yeah. I'm not as worried okay, about no, the 3-2. Okay, now... That's... Now it's sorted. Oh, it's better. Now that is better, yes. Ah, he knew he was just going to make all of the roll all of the dice. He did. He rolled all the <laughs> dice, Jim. He rolled all the dice. All the dice. Yes. Uh... Yeah, I thought I was playing humans, not dark elves with an ogre and guard. Yeah, some people be doing their threes like elves be doing their twos. It does get tricky. Well, this game. I mean, uh, Jimmy did a dodge with a dwarf uh, a couple of times ago, so. Well, then he's got no right to complain about anything, has he? Exactly. Never again in his life. And somehow, from what looked such a strong stall position, that Jimmy was pressuring really nicely. Suddenly the humans have managed to waste several turns. Irksome. Four. Oh, wow. Instant full cast there. Andre has no apple, uh, based on what I can see. <coughs> Apo's the very last year. last year. It's last year as Ugg Boots and Fault Forces Jokes. <clears throat> Going for, for the sarge. Glory. Gets it. Yeah, he's accepting the counter surf, isn't he? He is. He kind of has to. I mean, on the plus side, it is a 1D surf. Yep. I've said this is probably the point as humans where you've messed about enough. Two turns is probably not going to be easy for the dwarves to do anything, so I would probably Jimmy managed to score it in. Uh, kill his own uh, dwarf. 
He has. Didn't go with the Apo that he clearly has, yeah. Thankfully, he has bench, so he doesn't need to spend the Apo. Just yeah, to... he prefers the. I mean, the Apo is for one of the dwarf yes, uh, one of the good with ones. guard. Yep. Or a runner. Oh, hello, Bane Williams. Uh, thanks for the setup, bad guys. Uh, no worries. Uh, here in the channel, we are uh, dedicated to help new players, especially with things that uh, we can't take credit be, but not uh, doing them. In that case, is uh, Jimmy's was the one that they did all the setup guides, which I think there is a command for them. Or I, uh, Jimmy has them in. Oh! Doesn't get the knock, man. Yes, in honor of Elf Meme in the chat, I'm going to declare that a total mad lad play. It is a bit of a mad lad play. Is that it's a free plus? Uh... It'll all be alright, won't it? I thought when he didn't go the power that he was just to chain the ball carrier into the touchdown. Just to say, okay, I'm not going to be able to get much here, so better score now. And that's the surf. I guess Andre's just going to make all the dice. I guess he is. He'll always certainly have a 3-plus to make next turn, but it's probably only a 3-plus. Oh, that's damning. I mean, I've been rude in the past, but I've never called something a console play help. That's proper rude. Ah, uh, there you go. Thanks, Sater, for uh, finding the link to the guide so everybody else knows what when Bill Payne Williams was talking about. I'll be right back. Well, I think Andri has managed to get this to uh, turn a the stall. Yeah, I would much yeah, rather very... that guard came down by the ball, just over the sea of touchdown. I think that's the yeah. best place for him. But it's Any... it, you're right; it's good, strong shape. Controver maybe in some uh, controversial way, you know, but uh, he has managed to do it. Yeah, Jimmy's got to ask himself how, really, in such a good pressing position he's allowed Andre to stall for, what, five turns? Just down this flank in two or three spaces? I mean, poor luck is definitely part of it. But is there more he could have done? Don't know. Oh, I haven't been paying attention to me, my dinner. Oh, that's another uh, human out. Still, he's going to have a... Uh... At least two KO rolls, so more or less nearly sure that the oh the Vescar does the team roll to a pow. Will Jimmy try to dodge again? Didn't learn uh, his lesson the first time? Oh he must dodge. This is looking juicy. Yeah, we've got the tackle zone on the ball, which looks tricky to shift. Nope. Easy. I mean, it was easy to die on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and uh, Andrew managed to score. Three uh, humans out. Mm. Might blow well. the guard and the and I, and I think is the thrower. No, it's not the, the thrower. Uh, I know. Are they all KOs? Any of them permanent? Uh, I think one of them was an injury. There yeah, two is of them one were, injury. Two of them yes. were KOs. Two of them were KOs. One of them was an injury. Right. So Jim really needs that one in four to be up numbers for the second half here. Yeah. That would be very handy. 
well, the is also the the fact that uh, Jimmy could get three extra uh, casualties now here with these hits. I mean, he has at least uh, more than a few blocks and a blitz. Whoa! Uh, instant full timeout. Whoa! My God! The dice were rolled. And of course, he won in nines immediately. Not that but it it's matters. Actually, fine. Actually, fine because those are our liners. Needs to be a little careful here, of course, because both of his blitzers were in the line of scrimmage hits, and now they need to not be really. Oh, you mean exactly he's exactly why he's still in them. some options. You are starting to sound with a, st a static uh, there, uh, PC. Okay. Now, Jimmy set up uh, explicitly for the situation, was the only chance he had to. Oh, there you go. Uh, well, uh, nice attempt. Nice try. He's got one nice player try. in range. Which is going to get absolutely swarmed now. Yeah, it absolutely is. Probably 3D blitzed. It should be a 3D it, blitz. Yeah, if it isn't, there's going to be questions asked. Firstly, what fuck? Okay, it was a 3D blitz. Glorious. Yeah, I'm a little surprised oh. that I was going to say there are ways of doing that from the back edge where it would have been in a lovely position to foul it. But... Can hit the throw, just not with mighty blow. That is the thrower, isn't it? Yes. The Ian one, the purple one is the thrower. Blow. One, two, three, four, okay. five, six. He can hit with mighty blow. Yeah, it's a double rush though. Yeah. Go for the line up. Gets him well. as well. Okay. Don't do it, Jimmy. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. I think Jimmy was thinking about the foul and then reconsider the situation. Well, and that's two. Stay now. The KO, one of the guards uh, stay out and injured the uh, Lino. So, Jimmy has the numbers advantage if I am right. I think it's still 11 versus 11. Yeah, I think that's 11 11, but at least yeah. it's out. Jesus, that's a lot of players for the humans. Oh, yeah, but, uh, yeah it's humans, they are cheap. The advantage is that it's one of the guard that went out or stayed out. The Mighty Blow is somewhat irrelevant. The guard is just more important than the mighty blow, in my opinion. So it's good for Jim that it stayed out. And uh, here, uh, Andrew is using uh, an offset uh, setup. Yeah, there are there are no new there are no formations there, uh, Jimmy. If you save them, they disappear. Jimmy uh, taking protections against a possible blitz. Ah, that's better. That's better uh, going for a uh, carry the ball with the block piece. Okay. 
Yes, if you haven't seen it before against an offset LOS, this is the pretty standard anti-blitz defense. Got to make sure you have tacklers on the outside edges, particularly the right-hand edge as we look here. Another tackle really matters because you can't use dodge on a blitz. Yeah, but it's about where it is for next turn as well and things. That's true. The problem with this is that we've now had four dwarves already put all their focus forwards when the runner has to go back to pick the ball up. The runner moves back to help with the picking up the ball in case something was wrong. Now, here comes the blitz. Quite liked the fact that Jimmy hadn't done anything with all of those dwarves yet. It provided a very solid wall if it all failed, but now, now not it's not. So now he needs to reposition. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that blitz. At least he picks up the ball. Position looks stable enough. Mm. It's going to take him some time to centralize, though. Look, Milo, Cyanide get a lot of things wrong, but actually I think the way they've handled the kickoffs has been pretty good. Short period of time where, you know, they hadn't fixed changing weather, but I think that's... Actually, the least of the problems. Oh, he was aiming for the chain there. Does expose his mighty blow piece to a hit. To a hit with mighty blow, even. Mm. If he wants to take that blitz. It's not a good blitz. No. good blitzes this turn either okay the two liners on the floor i can understand the one closest to the doors but the one up the other one i think i should uh, get that one up just to deny the movement of the guard the uh, because now that piece can move whatever the, he wants it's either that or you just dodge it out anyways try and oh yeah oh, of course dodge it. out yeah, yeah, exactly. He could have even uh, try a three plus dodge to get that uh, line of free. But keeping that uh, guard piece busy, I think was more useful. Because now, look at what you got. Yeah, similarly, I would have wanted to tie that guard down, but I would have dodged out to do it if we'd stood up where it was. Um, there were some lovely chains it made available that I wouldn't necessarily want them to have the choice of. But I do agree that tagging that blitzer was a good idea. It does give up the mighty... Oh, whoa, whoa. Powerful uh, hit there. Gets a nice chip as well. It's a well played turn from Jim there. Yeah. And Jimmy hasn't blitz yet. So I guess he's going to be on the thrower. There is no other blitz. Uh, 
Now Jimmy counting the squares. And now the humans are in a, in a complicated situation, especially if the ogre bone heads. Ogre bone heading here would be disastrous for the humans. It really would. A complete disaster for the whole humanity. <laughs> well, at the moment, it's sort of linking the two halves of this defense together. Yeah, yeah, it's the glue that's keeping there, and also uh, it's surrounded by a guard, so he needs to get up. There you go. Does get and now makes things much uh, more uh, easier. That one in nine, though, is really terrible for the catcher. Well, at least it has block. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the plus side. At least it has block. But there is a chance that the catcher gets hit uh, next time. It's probably getting hit. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Can you see the play, guys? Can you see the play, guys? Oh my god, Jimmy saw it! Now, it's not like Andy had many other options anyway. That uh, getting that hit with a gadget. He has to do it. Oh, oh my god! Oh, gets the guard piece as well. Oh my god! Huge! Comedy Mega. Oh and God. gets okay, the blodge okay, that, catcher. This is this is an absolute icing now. S tier banging indeed, Rayner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comedy uh, Higa comedy dice in here. He's rolling all the dice. This is going to be massive for overtime. I was going to say, if you flip it round, one of the reasons that he's rolling all the dice is that needs to be in a good position for overtime. Yeah. Uh, ideally, going into overtime, you want that if it's your ball, it's a straightforward match. <laughs> Get off my fucking winning. pitch, bro. If it's their ball, they're terrified <laughs> of keeping it away from you because it looks like you'll be able to take it. That's where you want to be. I think that's another two or three rats off to get there. Yep. Yeah, Hendy, you missed all the good stuff. Yes, yes, you miss the, the, all, the, all the injuries. That's what you lose for not being a subscriber. I think that was the plan of Jimmy, you know? Just roll out and roll the dice. Well, he did say in the casting chat that he was going to put on the specially long adverts for this one, didn't he? <laughs> exactly, yes. Blitz with the ogre. I mean, there is not many other things uh, Andrew can do. Uh, I know he's in a very, very unlucky situation. I mean, now I think it's the part when we start saying things like, "Well, these things happens in Blood Bowl. This is how Blood Bowl is. You know, sometimes these things happen." Blah blah. Bloody Blood Bowl. Bloody Blood Bowl. Fucking game. <laughs> Every single time. Yeah, I've been trying all week to get around to playing Blood Bowl 3. It's just so hard to love. And it turns out things like sorting my sock drawer and putting together MDF furniture is more exciting, and I choose to do that instead. <laughs> Blood Bowl 3 just... it just isn't there yet. I mean, there is progress, it's just heartbreakingly slow. Yeah. If Blood Bowl 3 was a space program, it would be the Nigerian space program. <laughs> Remember a few years ago when some crazy minister of Nigeria started talking or about, you know, their space program, blah, blah, and all that. Well, that's more or less Blood Bowl 3. Yeah, Nigeria is a very affluent country. Uh, about 90 million people. Reasonable standard of living for Africa. Uh, lots of mineral wealth, lots of diamonds and natural resources. 
Yes, but not to have a space program. <laughs> Probably not, no. Oh but my god, this is wow. This is the it's, yeah. a, a snowball effect. Mighty Blow doing a thing. Well, this is what you, you just want. Can't just can't get the ogre down, though. No, a couple of numbers in your way, and suddenly you're getting lots of two die hits all round. I mean, Nigeria may not be able to afford a space program. They do, of course, have Nollywood, the largest single uh, producing town for films anywhere in the world is Nigerian and capital if Lagos. I recall correctly, is the country that drinks more Guinness. Does it? Oh, oh my god, oh, this is out as oh well. God, this is this. Wow, wow we're starting order. to get a wow. full dicing now, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we were already in a dicing. This is just another galaxy. Uh, Squirrel Dude, I think you just uh, mentally check out of this game and say, yeah, this is over. Remember, you know, I wish I could get bloody about... better dice. What a joke this game is. <laughs> uh, For fuck's sake. <laughs> a little time ago, I was talking about Jimmy and wanting to be in a good position coming into overtime, so even if he doesn't get the ball, he'll feel confident. I kind of think he might be there now. The human game plan is either you check out mentally and say, yeah, this yeah. is over. This or... is over. Maybe, maybe wait for a miracle uh, on the overtime. But... Yeah. The other option, and probably the better one, is you cross your damn fingers that you win the toss in overtime. Even then, you've got to try and score as late as possible or settle for it being a draw, haven't you? Yeah, cause yes, it goes because it's the, the whole eight turns. Yep. The full eight turns and never a cutscene at the end of it. It's absolutely brutal. It's absolutely brutal. Uh... Six players on the pitch. Yikes. I think if I mean, you humans... the catcher, you're in a pretty good position. Oh, oh. Yeah, because now it's a complicated situation for Jimmy. Who knows if he's going to be able to score. I think... Uh, is Jimmy going for the, the hit on the catcher? Of course he is. I think that's what he should do, at least, to guarantee overtime. The throw is a pretty good chip as well, if he gets it. Double pow. Not a removal? Shocked. Absolutely dicing. Absolutely dicing. Someone uh, started writing on Discord about the RNG being broken. Yeah, the RNG is definitely broken. Well, look, I've played 30 games on tabletop and I've never seen dice like this. <laughs> You know, in my local league, in my local sub league, these things never happen. After having played Skaven at the World Cup and getting utterly diced for seven games in a row, I can definitely say these kind of dice do happen in real life. Well, Harry, but did you just said you were you are a Skaven coach, so you are a liar by the. <laughs> And a hor horrible human being. Don't worry, I went back and I have never I am never playing Skaven again. I learned my mistake. Well, here comes the hit uh... three here dice, the hit. I guess is the is the, the the magic word. The hit we've all been waiting for. The three dice with mighty blow tackle on the catcher. Yeah, you don't reroll that. No, you don't reroll that. 100% you don't reroll that. We can flap it. My, my kitten just woke up uh, suddenly. Just take the score here. Yes, there is absolutely nothing else you can do. 
Well, I mean, you could blitz one of the human linemen, but the trade-off for a potential 1 in 1296 is just not good. It's not the 1 in 1296, a 1 in 36, and having to spend one reroll. Yeah. Is a... Uh, makes it terrible. Oh, okay. Humans have two, four, six players for eight <laughs> turns. <laughs> so they have somehow oh, somehow they have seven players they got their KO back alright seven players sorry okay seven players yes okay that makes a better I'm I pretty sure I'm pretty, pretty sure Andre is really happy that they got that the KO back that will change everything he can, clearly can complain about the dice Now, if he's really lucky in these uh, LOS hits and can chip and take away maybe even just one dwarf, there is still a chance. I would, would I put money on that chance? Unfortunately for Andre, probably not. But Andre's an old experienced gamer. He'll have faced situations like this before. He knows he's up against oh, yeah. it. You know, oh, nothing yeah, yes. you can do. Coach is best, see what happens. Yes, I mean, there is a... There is a moment, you know, from now on, since the, all those uh, casualties happen, uh, there is a... Uh, Andre is more or less, you know, free of any uh, criticism because he has to work with this. So there is no, you know, the kind of things that you can uh, prepare for or avoid if your opponent just breaks armors and injuries every single player. Don't say it's over. <laughs> um, I didn't say it's over. I said the whole eight turns. Yeah, it's it's true. It's it's like it's obviously like if I win the if I win the toss, I'll just win, right? But if if he wins the toss, he can bang it in quick, or you know, and then it's bang it in at all, and it's it's going to be hard for me, like isn't it? I mean, I'm not going to be able to beat him two one and a half. So if he wins the toss and gets the score done, it's uh it's going to kicks, isn't it? I mean, at best, so. It's still tricky. It's still tricky. Well, there you go. I just lost a guard. Fantastic. Oh, oh. Well, as I said, it was a. Now things look uh, very different. Still a huge advantage for Jimmy, but yeah, losing that the uh, player. Jimmy gets, wins the toss, which makes things as good as they could be. Wait, did Jimmy win the toss? Ah, no, 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 sorry, 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 I got it absolutely wrong. It was the humans that the. Uh, Why did appear the icons of uh, deciding to kick or receive then? I thought those only appears to the play to the coach that wins the toss. Damn uh, I accept. I was. It was a mistake, but it was a very easy mistake to make. Seven versus ten. You know, this is my fault for trusting anything that uh, happens in the screen of a cyanide game. 
I am too innocent for this. I can't believe him. I can't believe with that, that removal fucks my defense and then lose the toss. This could actually not be a win. Unbelievable. This could be, this could be, you know, angry, uh, glorious uh, moment. It really could, it really could. Flip me. Very difficult, very difficult. I still uh, think that uh, Jimmy has the equity advantage, but this is Blood Bowl. Same way uh, Jimmy casts uh, three players in one turn. Andrew could do more or less the same. Right, I'm back. What's happened? Jimmy lost uh, a guard for because officious ref. Oh no. And uh, Andrew won the toss. Actually playable for the humans then? Yes, yes, there is a chance. There is a chance. That ball there makes uh, Jimmy being able to put pressure next time on the ball. But also saves the humans the bother to have to think too much. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, pick up the ball and pray. No, the rerolls don't didn't came back, or at least shouldn't come back. You didn't. No one spent a reroll last half. Jimmy has four because there was a kickoff event. Brilliant coaching, I think, happened. Also, the rerolls icons in the overtime can be a... confusing. Very diplomatic word. I was going to go with the word wrong. <laughs> Two types of people. In the meantime, uh, there is still happening right now the original Strongman competition in the United States, and I have two friends competing there for the world uh, title. Wow. A uh, girl, Charlotte Hendry, which she has no chance of uh, winning it. The uh, opposition is... Uh, Absolute legends of the sport. And also she's natty, she doesn't take any uh, substance. But Dean McCabe, the Scottish guy, which uh, I know very well, who are pals, uh, he has won every single competition this year. And if he wins this one, will be the first one strongman competitor to win every single competition, international competition in a year. It's a lot of competition. He won the Scotland, UK, Europe, Arnold Classic, uh, Strongman League, and uh, I think another one, and now this one. He's competing in, if he wins it. Fingers crossed for him, then. Yeah. Oh god, and I've I'm just realized it's a Dakar. It's a flipping Dakar. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose to a seven man Dakar. <laughs> no. Oh. That's exactly what it is, yes. Kudos to Andre. I think this is the real good play here. Hmm. Now, if anyone is wondering what happens if nobody scores at the end of turn 24, uh, we get uh... failed. The, he failed the pickup but after oh. having moved most of his players. Oh! If he still had re rolls, that should have been a re roll. Well, it was sure hands fail. Uh, it was a sure hands fail. Yeah. Well. Then really, really unfortunate to roll a one in nine. There is uh, Andre is not getting any luck today. I think Jimmy has a chance to reach the ball here. What are you doing? It's a one. Come here. Got it. It in. Uh, 
Ah, yes, another cast. Uh, another cast, yeah, just in case. Uh, read the small books. There is a way of uh, getting the icons. It's a mod. Can someone uh, put the command to show the links? I'm too busy petting my kitten. As you do. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, very fluffy. Lovely kitten, one of the stars of my strings. There you go. Thanks, uh, Reaper Doc. I don't know why people say you are a horrible human being, Reaper Doc. You know, that was very nice of you. Yes, now Jimmy, all he needs to do, you know, the safe place, keep things under control, ball very base. Andre has to try for the five plus here, I think. Yeah, yeah, now Andre, I mean, Andre, he's been this, uh, unfortunately, his only choice is hero place. I think it's just the five plus three plus handoff and then the handoff. Fails the, the pick up. Pick up. And again, it lands in a good square for Jimmy. Now, Jimmy will tell you, you no, know, that's not a good square because if I fail the pick up and the ball goes to the crowd and it goes in a different way, it could be a disaster, which could be, but come on. Jimmy is good enough to be able to cover against it, though. Oh, I'm just saying that Jimmy will find something to complain about. Yeah, of course. As a veteran Blood Bowl coach, that's one of the most important skills you have to develop. How to complain 101. Yes, yes. All the time. Every time. I think all dice at this point are scary, Velihopia. He has to do it. Does kind of have to. And oh, of course. Oh. Okay, he makes it. Whew. Gets the power as well. I have a feeling. Can't follow this up. Oh. I knew it, it wasn't to be an armor break. A stun is still pretty good here. You can be my wingman anytime. That secures the ball area. You can be mine. Oh, Kanor! Raiding with a party of 63. Welcome, uh, Kanor Raiders. How was your stream, Canor? We are here on the quarterfinals of the NAF tournament. And Jimmy has an absolutely epic uh, game when it came to casualties. More or less removed the whole human team. Instantly makes the pickup. Game saved. This is just over. Well. Andrew could roll, I don't know, like 10 sixes on a row or something like that. He could. And they're gonna give a shootout to Canor, a long standing uh, uh, Blood Bowl uh, streamer, which has been doing it for ages. And you can find him in his channel. There. 
but I think everybody uh, here know who's Kinor. Uh, Kinor? I don't know how to I pronounce know. it. My accent doesn't make it any better. The ogre. Uh, injured himself trying to dodge when everything was lost and was just trying to run away. Oh, that's the roll there. Oh, oh, that is a really big one in nine. Oh, oh gets a dwarf. <clears throat> you don't apo that. No, if you apo anything now, it's a KO. <laughs> we are very soon going to be playing sevens, but of course the game's nearly over. I don't know. Things could happen, as Jimmy says. This is it. Three plus. Makes it. Gets the 1D. Fails the rush. Rerolls it. So, yes, Andre obviously has to use all the rerolls here to try to achieve something. And Spunk that was uh, the best thing he could manage there in that situation. I don't think there were many other plays that were any better than that. There were no other options. Not that I saw. Killing the dwarf was bad there. I could have served the ball. Oh, if the dwarf stayed on the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Get in a cast. Was it? Really? Yep. How unfortunate. The one time, the one time, you know, when the castle did. KO there is really nice. Really nice. Very nice. And this is trivial to clear the ball now. You don't need to push there. <laughs> okay, that one's a bit annoying. Better, better. Uh, that was a clenching ass cheeks moment there with that uh, <laughs> roll. But now, now Jimmy can uh, stabilize, centralize. Yeah, this is just as safe as it gets. It's, it's it's not good for the rule of three though, is it? It's stabilize, centralize, and you need a third one. Otherwise, it just sounds wrong. Optimize? I don't know. I was thinking I would optimize too. Centralize, stabilize, centralize, come and arise. Yes. I like Aaron Bucky's. Suggestion. Murderize. Yeah, modernize. Yeah, that's good. It says murderize, not modernize. Yeah, yeah. Modernize murderize. Be the first one, yeah. Then it's murderize, uh, centralize, and then the other one. And then the one that's actually about winning the Blood Bowl game. Yeah. Yes, Christopher, I do think that Vermeer has penetrated tonight into all of our hearts. Indeed. We have all been penetrated by Fermir and his lovely penetration voices. Yes, I do a lot of penetration when I play Chivalry 2, that's true. KO? Uh, I mean, it's off the pitch anyways. I'm 21. Jimmy is the defender here, so there wouldn't be any chance of any one turner or anything uh, from Andrew. Well, one turner is not possible, but uh, a riot could give him a turn if he was the defender. But I look at Merkel here uh, bragging around of having a wife on a Blood Bowl channel. You know the kind of people that watch this. Oh, I, I took it 
as granted that she was inflatable, but maybe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where? Oh, flip me. Dead plastic eyes is what my wife gives me when I'm ready to. Oh. Oh, man, what a I'm dicing honest, this was man. here. One day I'll be lucky. <laughs> yeah, you really got diced this game. Holy shit. You did, you did. You Holy shit, man. Yeah, that, that, that one time when you didn't kill three humans, that was... that was horrible. Right, that was the worst. God. Such a horrible I, dicing. My heart goes to Andrew here because these things are an absolute nightmare when they happen to you. Yeah. I mean, actually, as he pushed down the flame, Jimmy, I thought he did. I thought you did a really good job closing him down. He did a really good job fighting for space and stalling it out. I know he got a couple of lucky turns that allowed him to, but he did a really good job of it. Yeah. And then you know the dice just kept getting worse and worse for him all all through that second half and all through overtime. Yep. Yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And, uh, well, yes. Sometimes yes, it should are... happen like this. It just all too rarely does. Yeah, it's supposed to happen sometimes. That's what. It, I... it absolutely is. That's what the great man said. Just Dio, in case you don't know. <laughs> man, the myth, legend. Yes, the the only coach that has never lost a game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Because he decides game. what is losing and what is winning. <laughs> even a nil, even a nil one is a is a is a win in Dio's book. Moral victory, isn't it for Dio? Yeah, exactly. yeah it's moral victory. You know, the, the, that's why a draw is called a Dio win. <laughs> you can't even say that it was a dicing because there are no dice. Mm. Exactly, there are no dice. There is just a, a situation that happened based in the just the movement of the pieces. <laughs> yep. Wow. Wow. I mean, it was it was a. <laughs> it wasn't even a dicing, was it? It was a. It, this might be an insanity dicing more than a comedy mega. I think this is. This is. It a, is just a bit it's not a, insanity. It's not dicing. mega dicing. Not even giga dicing. I think we are reaching the points of the tera dicing. <laughs> yeah. This is. <laughs> this is a. Uh, Insanity, full insanity dicing. Artemis loving it. <laughs> I think Artemis would have an aneurysm if this was if he was on the receiving end of the <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he would have already conceded, yeah, yeah. let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And it will, it will become a 18 hours uh, stream checking the news. <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure that if he actually sat through a full game like this, we would have to call an ambulance for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear! Wow. And there, there you go, go. Jimmy scores. Congratulations, uh, Jimmy. Commiserations, Andre. Made it to semis. Glorious. Yeah. Made it to the Jimmy semi with the semi. semi. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, a very big semi for Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's a semi anymore. I think we're full on now. <laughs> full on, <laughs> solid as a rock. Back hard today. <laughs> oh my god, that was so was my cock. brutal. Uh, when it come to the dice, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, it was like the first half. He made all, like you know he did the right plays, oh, but also he rolled yeah. all of the dice to keep oh, it. Like, it was, he, you know, he was like he was oh, doing yeah. what he had to do to stall it right he could have just gone early but he did he did the right place to stall it but he also needed the right dice to stall it he did need both to stall it um and i was getting a little frustrated in rolling all of the dice to stall it but then obviously the second half i just it was just yeah. stupid wasn't it, yeah. it was just jimmy jimmy stupid. don't forget to don't forget to save the replay for your lonely nights <laughs> yes yes i will do yeah yeah, and uh, you know, Andre is a really good player, and he's still, you know, I knew he'd still be dangerous with seven, seven versus eleven. Obviously, I can cover the field, so I wasn't, I wasn't too concerned with seven versus eleven. But then once I lost the player, and it was a guard, it was a, it was, you know, it was a movement five guard. Like that was a pretty big loss. Like you know, I don't know, I know I'm still up three players, but you know, humans are fast, right? And and I can mess it up, and he can, he can break away and like do a handoff or something. So like, I wasn't really, you know, I thought that was a. I wasn't too happy after that, but obviously, you know, and losing the toss, but, you know, 
as it turned out. And then he he, he won in nine the he won in nine the catch, then won in nine the pickup, didn't he? So I even got I even got really lucky. Even in the overtime, I got lucky. Even even apart from the seven cars, <laughs> I <laughs> think in the second half, line. absolutely nothing when the the way of Andres. Yeah, his failed dodge and uh, cars like on the Olga was insane. It was just it was an absolute. It was beyond a comedy maker. It was it was a uh, it was an insanity dicing. So there you go. Um, we entered the realm of what the fuck is even going on anymore? Is this even blood bowl? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was tough. It was tough. Like cause I had I had to think like that. This is the thing. Like I had to think like that because obviously we see it loads of times in replays and that you know chalice and leaks. Those kind of dice happen to somebody, and then you know all of a sudden there's a three three two or something to hit the ball right. And it's like, and he got it there. He got the one D there, didn't he? Like even after all that, he still got like a three, three, two, two or something to hit the ball. Something like one D the ball. It's possible. So like you, you know, you've got to. It is hard to remain vigilant. So I was really trying to like, you know, in my mind, ham up the ch the chance that he had, so that I tried. Well, I wouldn't take my eye off the ball. And maybe I should have GFI'd with the ball to get away because I knew it was a bit of a shitty spot. That runner on the sideline. I did think about a GFI or two, but then. I just, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Well, whew, it was tough. It was tough. It was, it wasn't tough, but you know what I mean. It was tough. It was, it, it's weird, right? You know, like it's not playoff nerves, but like obviously you want to like play well and stuff, and uh, you want, you go out there, you um, want to play good, you try to play good, and I think we played pretty good today. Hell yeah! Yes, and it was the host looking the competition now. Uh, I was the first. I was the first uh, game done, so. Um, of course, it's going to be really difficult to find the competition. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm in the semis. And if I win, I get to the play-ins. And it will be versus Orcs or Lizardmen. And then the other matches are Dwarves versus Humans. And Humans versus Lizards. So it could just be Humans versus Humans in the other semi-finals. So that'd be funny, wouldn't it? Lots of Humans around. And... Uh, Yep. Did did PC duck out at some point then? Yeah, he yeah. did. I, thought, I think so. Yes. I thought he did because I'm the one taking half an hour to say goodbye. Well, hey. <laughs> well. <Where? laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you, thank you to PC who's gone, and thank you, thank you to Fymir who uh, who turned up eventually. And <laughs> yes, yes, I turned up eventually. Yes, for the important bits. <laughs> and thank you very much, Hargrim. Amazing, amazing coming in at, at, a, at the drop of a hat to come in and, and do this. So thank you so much, Hargrim. And uh, yeah. And uh, thanks, thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.